Hello and welcome to the Slow Baron Fox Makes YouTube channel. Now before we get started, I just wanted to go over a couple things. Um, to begin with, this, at any rate, this channel is going to be doing Carbide Create tutorials. I'm going to do two different types of videos to start out with. I'm going to do sort of a design along where I show you um, sort of the step-by-step -step process of how I design something. And then I'm going to do much shorter videos called Carbide Tips um, where I just uh, break down something a little bit simpler um, normally to get you up to speed on what we're going to be doing in the next tutorial video. So this is going to be one of those tips um, and today I just wanted to go over um, fonts a little bit. Um, if you know you know how to install and how to organize your fonts um, this may not totally ap apply to you but we are going to go over um, font types, file types and how they are uploaded into Carbide Create so you may want to watch that. So the first thing you're going to need to do is you're going to need to find a custom font to install. So we're here on Font Squirrel. Font Squirrel is a website that has um, all curated freeware fonts. So if you're somebody who worries about um, licenses, you don't have to worry about that on Font Squirrel. It's all freeware. Um, anytime I'm going to sell something, I try to use a freeware font um, just because I want to respect the creator's wishes. So we're going to find a font we want. Now the one I want is all the way at the bottom. And we're going to download OTF. There's two different files types. There's TTF and OTF. I'll get to what those are in a second, but I'm going to hit download. Now, you can save these anywhere you want on your computer. Um, you have to go install them, and they're installed in their own specific file, but you don't have to care about any of that. So what I like to do is I like to go to my CNC files, and I have a folder for fonts. I'm going to save that there. Open show in folder. Um, extract files here. And then this is the license, which you can read that if you want. And this is the actual font itself. So we're going to double click this and this will open up a preview. Um, and then you can hit install. That'll install automatically. And we can close this and then I organize everything up here. I don't need this anymore. And that license can go up here. Uh, I already have that license apparently. So these are all the fonts I have installed. I like to keep them here because it's really hard to find a specific font you want, especially the custom ones in Carbide Create. So I can go and look at all the custom ones I have installed. And to preview, you just double click. I can go through. It's very quick and easy to look at all the fonts that I might actually want to use as opposed to the pre-installed ones. Um, and then I just hunt them down in Carbide Create and use them from there. So we're going to go over to Carbide Create and go over one last thing. So there's two different file types. There's OTF and TTF. And they're pretty similar, but there is some differences. So what we're going to do is we're going to zoom in. This is an OTF font. And you can see it's not totally round. Um, the OTF fonts are made up of a lot less points, at least that I can see. So if we look at the actual nodes, there's not a lot in this corner, um, in this round, which leaves us a little bit of a rough edge. Now, if you're doing really small fonts, you're not really going to see it. I haven't done anything super large, but it might become an issue and it might be something you want to think about. If we go down to TTF fonts, you can see in this curve, there's a lot more nodes and it just ends up with a much cleaner corner. Um, there's also another couple things to keep in mind. Um, they can render different in Carbide Create. So up here is an OTF font and this is a uh, TTF font. You can see there's just little subtle differences. These uh, circles in the E's are not totally the same shape or at the same, same angle. And I think the S's are a little bit different, but that could just be me. The other thing you'll see is down here, again, this is a TTF and this is an OTF. There's a little bit of a glitch here from the E to the T, from the E to the X, excuse me. And then the, again, the circle in the E, obviously it's the same font, um, is a little bit different. So if you have the option, some texts, some fonts will have the option between OTF and TTF. You might want to download them both. Um, and play with them. The only problem is they will not be listed as separate in, that's not going to open for me, um, it's not going to be listed as separate in your Carbide Create font. So I have one in here called Milkshake, which I've installed multiple times. Two of these are TTF and two of these are OTF. It doesn't tell me which one is which. Um, so you might have to go and erase the ones you don't want, which is a completely different story. Anyways, we're going to be going over um, some fonts in the next project we're going to do. 
So if you want to do that, go ahead and subscribe and you'll see that video when it's posted. Thanks and have a good day.